Hi everyone, so a few months ago on a video about 5 tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy Y I showed you that you are able to use the voice commands Well now in this video we are going to have a more in-depth look on how these commands work and which commands actually work on the Samsung Galaxy Y As you know, this is a gingerbread based device and unfortunately it doesn't really have the advanced voice commands uh, such as the ones the high-end phones have with the higher Android versions but still these commands can come of use so I suppose you should already know how to use the voice search and voice commands basically uh, one, one method is having the Google search widget on your home screen and the other is when you won't press the options button here you can see how it opens up the Google search app and then you have the little microphone here at the top right corner so you can either use the microphone there or the microphone in here to begin your voice commands okay so the first command which we're gonna try is sending a text message to a particular person along with that including our message within the voice command so to begin like I said tap on the little microphone here and begin the command so the command is send text to the contacts name and then include the message so I have a contact name for example LV I'm gonna do a test now for example send text to LV hi as you can see the contacts name is here and here is my message so you, so as soon as you say send text to and the contacts name you begin saying your message and it will translate it to text and you can send it immediately by tapping on the send button here so that's pretty cool the next command would be to call a particular person now uh, here I have noticed that it doesn't directly call the person but it gives you a suggestion I'm not sure if it's because of me pronouncing the name wrong or it's just how it works anyways you tap on the microphone and you basically say the command call and then the contacts name once again I'm gonna use LV for this example so tap on the microphone call LV and this is basically what you should get now as you can see here it says did you mean and down here you should have the option to call a particular person so instead of going to your contacts book you can immediately call someone from here so if I tap here as you can see it will immediately begin dialing that person and the next command which is proven to work is sending email so tap on the little microphone here and say the command send email send email also if you have the person's email saved as a contact on your phone you can include the contact's name after send email to and say you can then say the contact's name and you can then also say the message so I don't really have anyone here added as a contact with their email so that is why I just use the simple command so if you would like to send the email to a person you don't have in your contacts book you can basically tap here and you can, you can either use the microphone or the keyboard to type in his email as well as for the message the next command is pretty basic which pretty much any Android phone should have I'm pretty sure that it does it is to visit a website so tap on the little microphone and say go to for example go to www.google.com you can either wait or you can just tap on go and it will open up the browser and it will visit the web page which you, which you told it to the next voice command is to look up definitions so this is somewhat like doing a Google search but you get special results at the top so let's say if we want to know the definition of a particular word you can just ask through the Google search widget here and it will tell you so the command for this is called define and then you say the word so for example tap on the microphone and I'm gonna say define suspicious as you can see now it will load up and as you can see it gave me the results with all of its definitions suspicious having or showing a cautious distrust of someone or something in some cases as you can see it will even give you voice uh, to explain to you what the definition is this even works for other results such as questions we're gonna have a look at this in the next command so the next known command is to ask questions now this doesn't really have a particular command it doesn't have a particular word which you need to say basically just say the question and it should find a result for you for example I'm gonna ask the following question how tall is the Eiffel Tower you even get voice answers here in questions just this one listen closely Eiffel Tower is 1063 feet tall so you get a voice answer a text answer you even have some more information here shown 
so very useful the next command is navigation so this command is really useful if you are on a foreign city on which you are not aware of where the location of particular place is you can easily navigate to it through voice so for example I want to navigate to the nearest bus station so let's give it a try the command for this is navigate to so let's give it a try tap on the microphone again and also for this you would need to have GPS uh, enabled in order to, for it to navigate and scan anyways open up the microphone and say navigate to and whatever you want to navigate I'm gonna give it a try now navigate to nearest bus station you can either wait or you can just tap on OK it'll open up the Google Maps navigation app and in my case I might have said and pronounced everything wrong but as you can see it detected it has detected a bus station which is in a city near my village and it gives me directions as you can see so really useful and our last voice command would be note to self which is sending yourself a note if you want to remember something and so on so for this once again tap on the little microphone say note to self and then say the note the message which you want to remember so for example note to self clean up the garage okay so I didn't actually understand all of my words which I said it just missed the up word anyways everything else has been uh, recognized so tap on send then all of a sudden as you can see we've got mail and not only that not only do you see text but you also get the recorded message unfortunately the quality is not so good I'm not sure if you can hear it that is the voice message and there you have it these were a few useful voice commands which are working on the Samsung Galaxy Y on Android gingerbread this can come of great help if you don't feel like using your fingers to type in stuff you can basically use your voice and the phone will recognize everything that is all thank you for watching and goodbye